Alrighty, so we here have the Cubit Interactive uh, release of Tin Head on Switch. Under the Cubit Classic Collection, you've got Tin Head and then uh, Tin Head Alternative. So, um, Tin Head is the original Tin Head release back in 1993. So, go ahead and check that out first. Now, an in interesting thing to note um, about. This is that. Let me get the, so this is the original ten head release. So you hit the um, A button to change the direction of your firing. Uh, then you have the Y button to jump. Sorry, X button to jump. And then you have the B button to, to fire. And this is a Genesis release. So this is a uh, action platformer. It's a great game. Um, although I will admit I do prefer the alternative version that's released in this collection. So the alternative collection, the alternative version is pretty much the same as this one, um, with a rather significant change. So if I go ahead and just go down to game select, and again, it's like all the other collections that these guys put out. Pico and uh, Cubite, you have the ZR and ZL buttons pushed together to get you to the menu that can let you save, um, save load. I'm going to go back to the game selection screen. This is 10 head alternative version done in 2019. So, um, this is the, um, the alternative version, like I said. Um, the difference being, I think that the camera is a little more zoomed in, or maybe the spray had a, the sprites had a little bit of, of rework done. It just looks a bit different than the original release. And the big difference here is the different face buttons are used for your different attacks. You no longer have to switch directions. And A button is now your jump. So you have B for your lob attack, you have um, X for your diagonal shot, and Y for your straight straight uh, your uh, straight ahead shot. Um, also, I think this game plays a little bit slower. Um, I noticed that the shots are a little bit slower than in the uh, original release. But I definitely prefer this version over the original, just because you have the different face buttons that use your attacks rather than having to focus on changing the attack um, based on a button press. You can just hit a different button to um, attack. So it's, it's 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 kind of a nice change. And again, I think I think the I think what may have happened is that the uh, your view is just a bit zoomed in, I think, is what makes the sprites look a little bit different. And for some reason, that also f seems to affect the speed a little bit of how the game plays. But like I said, I, I do prefer the uh, alternate version to the original. And this is a this is a great platformer. Um, this is also available on uh, the uh, Evercade. Now, you with the Evercade release, you only get um, the uh, original version, but still, still a great platformer on on any platform you try you want to play this on. But this this um, this most recent release is the only way to play the alternate version of this game. So do keep that in mind. And again, it's overall a, a very, very great, uh, great game. Great, great action platformer. So if you're a fan of cute, cute action platforming games, this game's definitely for you. Uh, it's a ton of fun and definitely worth 
uh, worth picking up on any platform you want to pick it up on. Again, this is the Switch port. And uh, that'll do it here. I want to thank uh, Keybike Interactive for the very opportunity. And I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And as always, until next time, take care and happy gaming.